this tutorial we will show you an overview of our plugin for Maya with V-Ray Renderer. Once Render Beamer and Maya plugin are installed, you can start using Render Farm workflow. To continue, just load your scene to your Maya and review Render Setup. Our test scene contains three render layers. Each render layer contains the same render range, but a different camera view. V-Ray options and render settings will stay exactly the same on farm side, so you don't need to worry about them. Just make sure that all desired render elements outputs are added to your project, as you won't be able to change them after scene upload. Now just save the file and switch to the Render Beamer shelf. Here, you can find two shortcuts, Render Beamer and Cost Calculator. The calculator will forward your scene render info to our online cost calculator tool. You can calculate the estimated cost and time needed on the farm to process your scene. To continue, just use the first shortcut, Run Render Beamer. Now, you will be switched to the Render Beamer Setup tab. The plugin will check your scene for renderable layers, cameras, render settings, and assets. Once the checking process is done, you can set up the project for farm rendering. First, you need to select the correct render mode. First on the list, we have Render As Is. This mode is the basic one. It will just render your scene as it is, without changing any GI settings or render options. Please keep in mind that we are not providing any GI caching for this mode. Render As Is also supports pre-cached GI connected to the scene. You can use it for animations and single frame rendering as well. Second on the list is Full Animation, Bake and Render. In Full Animation, we will switch your GI setup to Irradiance Map and Light Cache. Irradiance Map mode will be set into Animation Pre-Pass. Light Cache will be set to Progressive Path Tracking. First, Scene GI will be cached to Files. Once caching is done, we will render using pre-cached GI maps. GI cache is calculated for every frame, so render range 0 to 100 will generate 101 VR map files. Full animation mode is suggested for scenes which require GI caching before rendering and contain many animated objects, materials, or lights. For full animation, you can turn on and off camera paths for irradiance map and light cache directly on the plugin UI. Third on the list is camera animation bake and render. This mode is designed for scenes where the camera is the only animated object. Here we also change GI to irradiance map and light cache. However, the caching procedure is done for every 10th frame. GI caching can be done using a single node or multi-node. A single node will cache GI using one fast render node. Multi-node will split your render range over multiple render nodes. For camera animation, you can turn on and off camera paths for irradiance map and light cache and use multi-node bake switch directly in the plugin UI. Last on the list is Still Image. Still Image mode is designed for rendering high-resolution single frames. It's our custom distributed rendering technique. Every render node gets one strip to render. After successful rendering, strips are merged into one final frame. Still image mode settings allow you to set the frame range only with a single frame. Also, you can choose strips orientation and the number of strips directly on the plugin UI. For our test scene, we will use the standard render as is mode. Next, let's take a look at the plugin asset tracker. In the asset tracker, you can check, relink and remove assets connected to your scene. As you can see, we have plenty of missing textures in our scene. To relink all assets at once, use the search directory function. Browse to the folder where your assets are stored and select it. If your scene has missing assets that can be skipped during rendering, use the delete not found function to clean the paths. Our Maya plugin displays all operations in the render beamer log window, so you can see what's happening under the plugin hood. Once everything is relinked and ready for rendering, click the send button. The plugin will start collecting the project data and preparing a packed project to upload. Once the preparation process is complete, RenderBeamer will upload the data to the farm file servers. To continue the process, click the click here to submit job button or add a render job directly on the web manager dashboard. When you see the job submission window, you can review some of the render settings. For a Maya project with multiple render layers, 
You can set to render each layer as an individual render job. If you use this option, you can set a different render range for each render layer. Otherwise, all renderable layers will be rendered as one render task. If everything is okay with the render setup, click the Submit button. Your project will be added to the Farm Render queue. Now wait for the rendering process to complete or continue working on the next shot to render. Once rendering is complete, go back to Render Beamer and download the outputs. Switch to the Downloads tab, refresh the list, and click the Download All button. The plugin will start pulling the rendered output files from the file servers. Once the files are on your local drive, you can check the results. Use the Open Directory function from the Render Beamer download list. You will see all outputs. This is how the final animation looks like. That's basically it when it comes to Maya V-Ray rendering on our farm. Happy rendering with GarageFarm.net.